So folks, as you know, I always say, I'm an explorer and these are my memoirs. So when I bomb you with beautiful walks that are filled with boabs and pretty flowers and, and fabulous rocks, they're my memories. It's not all just about the ride for me. These are my memories, so be prepared to be bombed with lots of rocks. <laughs> Magnificent landscapes. Carry on. Another beautiful morning. I get ready to do this big walk. See more magic. The Jarnum walks. Yeah, we got a couple of model. I might do that full loop. Three and a half hours, graded four, moderate to difficult. Include the lookout into that, as well as the gap. So starting here, I'm gonna walk all the way around here, around here, climb up to the lookout, come back down through there, go see the Aboriginal paintings and all the way back again. So I'll do the whole lot. Can't not, this place is magic. Absolute sacred. Let's go. Beautiful morning. Honestly, I didn't expect this park to be like this. No one raved about it. No one said, oh, you gotta do Keep River. You know, everyone talked about bloody you know, Catherine Gorge and all those places and, you know, Kings Canyon and like nobody talked about Cape River. This is pure magic. <laughs> this is magic. So I might even stay another night tonight. That'll be three nights. <laughs> yeah, it's stunning. All right, let's go see more magic. <laughs> I know from the video, it doesn't look like much but you just wait, <laughs> you just wait. Into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. Crossroads. I'm gonna go that way because it'll take me around the big loop and bring me out through that way anyway. So when everything's going right, we go right. Carry on.
go to the lookout. I'll show you this close up. Sneak peek. You wait. Coming on, go down there into the magic. I love these white gums. This whole valley is just filled with them. And the spin effects contrasting against the stunning colour of dirt.
as well. That's so huge. Beautiful. This is insane. Why has nobody talked about Cape River National Park? Yep, this place sure was a surprise. Did not expect this. I can't believe that no one raved about Cape River National Park to me prior to this. So I think I just screwed it because <laughs> it is phenomenal. So west of Northern Territory, Cape River National Park, my absolute favourite. Um, second to Gregory, uh, the eastern side of Northern Territory, Lemon, Lemon hands down, that was phenomenal. And Southern, it would have to be the Eastern and Western McDonald Ranges, but I think I like the Eastern a little bit more because of its um, ruggedness and trails. But yeah, Kings Canyon was pretty flash, except for the helicopters disturbing the peace. But yeah, so that's it. Back to camp. Debate if I spend another night here or throw a leg over my steed and carry on. Where to, I don't know, but it'll be a border crossing. <laughs> so let's get back to camp first. Make a decision, see how I feel. Carry on. Home sweet home. Right, cold shower, drink water. Make a decision. 
Have it, Kevin. That was beautiful under the stars last night. Awesome place at Take Water. Flower bag. Guessed it. My curiosity got the better of me. I just want to go. <laughs> oh, that was a tiring walk, but bloody hell, this place is unreal. Unreal. Okay. Um, thinking I might call into um Lake Argo on the way into Kananara and do one night out there before I hit the big town. Just not knocking for all the bloody chaos and people in the big towns at the moment. hoping I've just ridden through something because whatever that looks like it looks bad and it stinks <laughs> something's pissing out oh fuck four coil shit that ain't good That ain't good. Yeah, pissing out. Pissing out. Shit. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, so that's only just started because it's all over my boot. Right, I just need to get up the road a little bit because I'm right on a road. No Lake Argyle for me. I've just had those 
excited with this issue. What the hell? It is pouring out. Pouring out. Flicking everywhere. It's all over my boot, all over my clothes. So I only had them replaced as a preventative maintenance thing because I was having the fork oil changed. I just said, oh, you know, that'd be safe and sorry. I always do everything premature, change tyres, change chains, sprockets, everything premature. Just as, you know, I'm a girl travelling by myself, don't need things to fuck up on the road. And, uh, yeah, so I had them changed so I don't know why they're leaking. So I've just run the plastic up and around there and there's no debris. But yeah, that's freaking pouring out. It's everywhere. I've just wiped off the rim, but it's all over the front of here. And I thought I could smell something cooking. Spewing. I am spewing. I get fucking stuck in Kununara for how long? Oh, no real bike shop, just a small engine shop. Spew. Not happy, Jan. Welcome to WA. Bugger. Yeah, pissed off. Fucking, and didn't, you know, no drops, no nothing. Just rode out of Cape, Cape National Park. Great freaking gravel road, no big deal. Yeah, spew. Pissed off. do preventative maintenance. There's nothing worse when you've got to, got to head off to the nearest town and get there in the heat and fucking try and find something to fix your bike and go without your bike for days. Fuck me. Still fucking pouring out. Don't want to go to Kununara yet. Don't fucking want to go. Want to go to Lake Argyle. Go sit up on that fucking mountain. Where Mark and I went. Oh, this fucking sucks. I'm pissed off. I'm so pissed off. something around there to stop it from fucking flicking all over me and my fucking bike. And I'm trying to remember which fork had the spring and which one had the valves. Can't remember because if that one's got the spring then I'd fucking still go to Lake Argyle because at least you know even without the oil it'll still be so I've just taped a couple of tissues around there fucking pissed off. So people, this is what pissed off Ros looks like. That just freaking killed the excitement of crossing the border. How many days are going to be fucking stuck in Kananara for now? No bike, hot sun, million people. Fuck it. 
last time so yeah he said go park in the shade go in the office and ask might be lucky oh, that's the joys of just having a little motorbike and a and a tiny little tent generally speaking there's always room Checking, I actually might go for a swim. <sighs> bloody, 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 bloody. I'm in luck. They created a spot under a tree down at the back in what's called their emergency overflow, and it still cost me 48 bucks a night. <laughs> so I'll book in one night here and then see how we go with this. Fucking seal. Pissed off. Didn't need this. Did not need this. So yeah, prices have gone up significantly. I think Mark and I only paid like 35 bucks for a waterfront site last time. I charge 48 bucks for this. Um, hasn't got time to do the full forks, both of them, it's like, you know, over a week. But he can do the one fork as, as an emergency job, get it in sometime tomorrow. Um, so just for the one seal, top up the oil, uh, we're looking at about 180 bucks. So Caleb called me back, and as it turned out, Marcus, bless his cotton socks, was sort of trying to save me money and didn't think anything wrong with the seals even though I asked him to replace them as preventative maintenance but it didn't and so the seals haven't been replaced so going through all the symptoms and what it's doing yet Caleb suspects it's a failed seal so the seal's definitely fucked but it's on the side that's got the spring in it so you know what I'm going to do my food shopping right now get a bottle of red and I'll fuck off towards Broome and I'll go see my buddy Pete in Broome to get it done and then by the time I get to Broome I'll be due for a service oil and filter change anyway yeah, fucking hell piss me off you know like I just it's not like I've got a fucking workshop and can just do that shit by myself roadside and I don't know anyone here in town and yeah I had enough 
48 bucks to hang up my hammock at the end of the car park. Ugh. Oh, I so don't want to be in this town. I just don't. Alright, food shopping done. Air on the tyres, tank of fuel, bottle of red. Tomorrow morning I'm getting the fuck out of this town. off anyway got my fruit got my water got a cold cider just got to find some ice maybe my happy little campers next door they'll have their nana naps just gonna get some ice welcome back to wa rosa <laughs> turn around and fuck off i tell you so yeah yeah i'm just i'm not 100 percent confident with the bike shop um he said he's never done one before so doesn't know how long it'll take at least an hour and just you know Full price for the hilt and 50 bucks for the seals and yeah, uh, shops are all empty here and 48 bucks to pitch my hammock in a fucking car park. Nah, I'm done. You know, I don't mind. I've spent a lot of money in a lot of towns along the way supporting them, but I just hate price gouging everywhere. I really do. And all the shop shelves are empty and it's just, everything's full and yeah, to, I just don't want to be here. And because I don't want to be here, I'm just in a foul mood. <laughs> so, I do what I normally do, but I want to be somewhere, I just fuck off, <laughs> go somewhere else. So, yeah, as much as I don't want to go to Broome, um, yeah, paid up there is, um, is good luck. Second night in a row, I make heaven. Uh, it's an upside. All right, let's go look at this water. 